so we're streaming on YouTube right now, but there's another extremely popular uh, streaming service called Twitch, which is uh, focused on gamers mostly, and gamers and other types of streamers. So now there's been an emergence of these ladies, these fine young women who have discovered what's what gamers call the new meta, which a meta means the uh, the optimal strategy to win, which is used in gaming and stuff like that. But now they, they apply it. It's like a term they apply to everything in life and to Twitch. And the new meta in Twitch for optimal um, success in streaming is hot tub streams. So now we have uh, this, this 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 slew of ladies who are in bikinis in hot tubs on Twitch. So you have a variety of examples to play for everyone now, or what? <laughs> well, I have three. I have for the uh, family show. Yeah. Oh, sorry, family show. Sorry, yeah. Justin. Now everybody, everybody's job. But have you ever have you guys ever heard of uh, ASMR? Yes. Right. So that was that was kind of a meta for a while. Our so... opening monologue was kind of a ASMR a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So <laughs> um... <laughs> just to go and transform it. Burn your man. Oh yeah. Uh, so I was thinking You're listening to what fudge talk show. Oh, waiting for trivia. <laughs> Man, this is really unmanageable Listen, with too many funny sorry, people. Sorry, we have to, too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys are fine. But I just wanted to, you know, what do you guys think about this? Is this is this just, uh, you know, is this just natural? Is this evolution? Is this, you know, wrong? Uh, what do you are think? you saying like would a bunch of attractive women broadcasting from a hot tub generate an audience? I think so. Oh, it does. I can guarantee yeah. you it does. And and these ladies all make probably six yeah. figures a month. Uh, doing these. Good. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Good. I'll make. I'll do it for four figures. I'll get in the hot tub with Jeremy right now. I'll do it for fucking nine hundred bucks. I got. Freaking yeah, we got. We got to get my Amazon wish list up first. Then we'll do the hot tub broadcast. Well, look. Uh, I'll tell you guys this. Here's the thing. Is how, like, uh, this is the first I'm hearing about this. So, Mark. I'm sorry. Is it Mark? Voice is of it God. Mark? Yes. Mark. Uh, so these ladies from the hot tub. So people have just decided that this is all they want to watch on Twitch. Is that the issue? <laughs> Absolutely. So on Twitch, you can go if you like to play uh, Fortnite, if you like to play Warzone. You, there's lots yeah. of channels. And there's a one category on Twitch, which is the, actually the fastest growing uh, mm -hmm. statistically, is called Just Chatting. Just Chatting. And usually, that pr traditionally, that was a category that people between games would switch themselves over to the Just Chatting if they wanted to chill with their audience. But now... It's kind of gotten invaded by other types of content. And ASMR, which is, I don't even know what that stands for, but it's the people whispering in the mic. and Yeah, yeah giving you the tingles. Exactly, the tingles. And they have special mics devised for this with ears on yeah. the mic. So that was kind of the thing for a while. Amaranth that we see on the top, on the on the screen there, the, on the right-hand side of those three girls, that's Amaranth. She's, yeah. the biggest, okay. she's the biggest ASMR streamer on Twitch, but now she has gone to the hot tub meta because that's where the money is, and of course, and of course, on Twitch you make money off of uh, monthly subscriptions and donations. So you have the people who are watching you can donate to you, so that they, you know, their message can pop up on screen, or you say their name or whatever. Uh, but this is the meta right now, gentlemen. This is the optimal strategy for success in streaming. Yeah, that's okay, we just get on it. I'll, I'll get my jorts, and we'll get in the hot tub. <laughs> jorts. Well, my, my it... attitude towards that is just, you know, it's like the saying, you know, it's like uh, they say the arrow doesn't find the target. The target draws the arrow to it. Uh, okay. So there was I'm all. Like, I think I'm learning more than we're broadcasting. It's, it's good. <laughs> they're popular because it's what people want to watch, baby. Yeah, I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer in you don't tell the audience what they like. You know what I mean? Like Exactly. Exactly. Uh, David Cobb says uh, they get wrinkly in the tub. They must. I haven't watched a hot tub stream, but I, I can imagine. Mark hasn't gone that far. No, yeah. That's a really good point. And he's done usually, but yeah. Yeah. That's a really good point. So they go in, so they go in looking like uh, the girls of the Pac-10, and they come out looking like the Golden Girls packed it in. <laughs> <laughs>